And now, remember who? Ibrahim, Ishaq, Yaqub. All of these prophets, who were they? They were Uli Aidi. Uli, possessors of Al Aidi, strength. Wal Absar, and vision. All of these prophets were possessors of Aidi. My name is Tamiya Zubair, and I teach at the Al Huda Institute in Toronto, Canada, with a focus on Quran Tafsir as well as Hadith. So I, I grew up in a house where Islamic knowledge was given a lot of importance, both my parents being Islamic scholars. Well, when I was younger, they were both full-time professors teaching Islamic studies. There was always an environment of uh, learning, Islamic learning, and uh, of course with, with a focus on the Qur'an. I don't think a, a single day went by without me either listening to the Qur'an, my parents reciting it, or teaching it, or something of that sort. Even when we would be driving somewhere, my parents would often have us recite one page. My mom especially, she actually left her uh, university in order to teach the Qur'an full time, cover to cover. Eventually when I was in high school, I, I joined the, the course also. And when I, when I studied the Qur'an myself, learning the very text of the Qur'an, I really felt that Qur'an is definitely something worth spending every single day of your life with. Eventually when I studied the tafsir also and I went, you know, I, I, I got exposed to more and more tafsir books, the tafsir literature. That's what opened my mind to really extracting lessons from the Qur'an and reflecting on the meaning of the Qur'an. And when you do that, you realize that there's no, you've, you've never given the haqq of it, you've never, you, you've never done enough. My parents, they never spoon fed me, they never taught me in the sense that, okay, th this is what it means and this is what this means. They always equipped me with the tools of, of researching Islamic knowledge and basically they, they instilled in me the thirst for Islamic knowledge. So for instance, every time I would be stuck on some word in the Quran, I would go to my mom, find the easy way or call my dad and ask him the meaning and they would say, well, bring that dictionary, bring that book, open it up and see what it says, read what it says. And so there was, they, they always instilled curiosity in me. And uh, uh, many years ago when I attended the first Al-Maghrib class, it was an experience that felt like going through a thousand books maybe. It, it was the light of guidance class that Sheikh Yasser Qadi taught on Aqidah. And since then I was, I was hooked on Al-Maghrib classes. At Targhib wa it mentions that the people there, their physical form will be like that of Adam their beauty will be like that of Yusuf and their hearts will be like that of Ayyub. Up until very recently, it's, Islamic knowledge has been portrayed as something for men only and, and not for women. And so, you know, for, for women, it's, all, it's very easy to, to think of their life as, you know, as long as I'm a good wife, I'm a good mother, I'm fine. And learning or, and, and teaching is, is taken as something that's very, as, as something that's extra. You know, as, as a human being, you always want to find others that you can relate with. So it's important for sisters to know that they're not alone in their struggles. They, you know, there have been women who have gone through greater struggles and they survived and they, they were successful women. So it's necessary for, for women to have those role models. And the best role models are those that are mentioned in the Quran.